I am quite sure that most of you have seen the rather large green dragon that has been flying over northeast Oklahoma City for the better part of a week. I am looking for someone to lure said dragon away from Oklahoma City to a more rural area, force said dragon to land in rural area, slay said dragon in whatever way you see fit. No pay, dragon slaying is its own reward. Please note that I am not talking about the red dragon that frequents the area from time to time. He and I have an arrangement. I'm not even dragonborn, so it's not like I'm gonna get a soul out of the deal. Can I at least keep the dragon scales and bones, or do I have to deliver those to your house four hours away? What the heck is poopin' H2 hoes and roller bros alike? I'm your guide Q. Welcome back to r slash quit your bull- Nope, that's not the- r slash, uh, the choosing beggars. What's good? How are you guys doing today? We're gonna look at some absolutely fantastic posts. I wanted to show off this fan art from Dino USB. I made it my new profile picture. It is going to be temporary. I am going to be switching back to the Fedora Knight because it's just classic. It's just a kind of iconic image. It's probably the greatest thing I've ever created in my life. Just slapping together a RuneScape guy and a Fedora. But Anyway, I'm gonna drop the links to Dino USB in the description down below, Instagram and Twitter and stuff, but let's hop into the cringe RN. Hi, I'm interested. Please contact me if this is still available. Hey, it is still available. Anything you'd like to know, don't hesitate to ask. Hey, I'm looking to buy my son a guitar for Christmas. He had heart surgery in September and we wanted to treat him. Yours is out of my price range, but I was hoping you were flexible on price and I'm in Toronto. Are you willing to deliver? Thanks. What price were you thinking? I recently dropped the price from 900. Meeting up in Toronto is a bit rough. I'm a couple hours out. I do have it posted on Reverb as well with free shipping if that helps out. Thanks for getting back to me. It's a beautiful guitar. It's just too much. Could you do 300? I promised my son and it would make his day having it. I would rather you deliver it since it might not come on time. You want me to travel two hours to you and take nearly one third of my asking price. Whew, lad. We've seen this time and time again. I promised this to my son, and it would make his day. You'd be ruining his Christmas or whatever this would be. Do you guys think that these people are actually promising stuff to their kids, or if they're just using that as a tactic to negotiate down the price? I mean, I genuinely believe some of these people are making false promises to their children because they just seem like that sort of person. And at the end of the day, if your budget is $300, how about you buy your kid a $300 guitar? Like, depending on his age and if it's his first guitar or not, it might not actually be a great idea to get him such a nice guitar. Just get him something budget. He'll be super excited if it's his first guitar just to have a guitar at all. Don't force someone else into taking much less for what they're selling just because you have some special circumstance. This one is an absolute clinic on how to be greedy, so praise yourselves. Hey, thanks for the chocolates and the blanket. I really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I actually have one of those blankets. They're super comfortable. I love it. So, I know this is awkward, but the spending limit was $50, and I looked online, and it seems that the blanket and the chocolates only add up to around $30? Do you think it's possible that you could get me something else? My kids have been spending me up the wazoo, lol. I'm just gonna stop it right there for a second. Do you understand what a spending limit means? A spending limit is the maximum price that a gift you give can be. It's not the required price that a gift has to be. And it is incredibly, incredibly tacky to look up the price of a gift you've received to make sure that it meets your minimum threshold. And this person comes through with the nicest response on the planet. Yeah, no problem. I could just give you $20 if you'd like. That way you can get yourself and your kids something nice for the holidays. Do you think it's possible you could get me this? My kids would love it. Thanks. A $120 tablet? I think that's a bit over the $50 spending limit. I know, it's just that my kids have been spending me up the wazoo, and it would make their day if mommy gave them something nice like this. Thanks, I appreciate it. And I don't mean to be abrasive or anything, but you're an engineer, so you make quite a bit more than I do, lol. I'd also just take $120 cash if that makes it easier for you. The spending limit was $50, so I'd be more than happy to give you $20 or something worth $20. I understand you have kids, but I also have things I need to pay for, and unfortunately $120 for a coworker is a bit out of my budget. You're kidding me, right? You don't even have kids. What else would you spend your money on? Now you're gonna ignore me? Real nice of you, during the holidays. Honestly, I don't know how you live with yourself. Disgusting. Fine, I'll take the $20. Cash, please. LOL, forget it. Thanks for the karma. What? 
Guide to being a choosing beggar. 1. Receive a nice gift. 2. Say that the gift isn't quite enough. 3. Get the full amount of money you were asking for. 4. Gouge the person for more money and then say that they're disgusting when they won't fulfill your desires. I really hope the non-choosing beggar in this situation shares these screenshots with everyone at their workplace so this choosing beggar can just have the most awkward return from holiday vacation. I see your listing that you upgraded from an older Apple Watch. Why not instead of selling it, give it to someone like me who wants it? Selling it is just greedy on your part. I'm happy to take it off your hands and I will pay a shipping fee of $750, which is more than reasonable. Please respond right away as I would like the watch by New Year's Eve. See, the problem here is there are plenty of other people that want it, and they're also willing to give money in exchange for goods. Looking to borrow a car for my wedding day, 1228. We'll be needing it from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. Thank you. You can borrow my Tesla if you want. You have a picture? Seriously? A Model 3? Trade it in for a Model X and then maybe I'll consider. Dude, it's just an option. You don't have to be a dick about it. You offer me a Model 3 and think I'm a dick? Bro, it's a nice car. It's brand new. All you have to do is say no. Okay then, no. I'll be out of town so I can't make it to your wedding. You can borrow the M3 if you want. LOL, no thank you. Looking for something at least over 100,000. It's my wedding, not my 18th birthday party. I hope you get a unicycle that you have no idea how to ride and you crash on your face all the way to the wedding and then your husband or wife gets a prenup, divorces you and you're left without a penny and you become homeless. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm in a weird mood today, but honestly, if you became homeless, maybe your begging behavior would be a little bit more acceptable. Hey, are you selling the Xbox? Yes, for $5.50. It comes with 20 games that I think are listed in the description of the listing. Can you give it to me for $3.50, like games and all? I'm sorry, I can't. It's an unopened Xbox One X. I haven't touched it since buying it, and if you aren't willing to pay full price, we're done here. Wow, whore, my kids need it. Just take out the hard drive or something, bitch. Excuse me? <laughs> Why would you even mention a hard drive when you have no idea what you're talking about? Like, what would that have anything to do with anything? He's gonna open the box, take out the hard drive, and somehow that's gonna make it $250 cheaper? And also, you're getting games for, like, dirt cheap. The Xbox One X costs, like, $500 unopened, and then the games would be, like, $2.50 a piece after that. This is actually an amazing deal. Here we've got a nice Christmas choosing beggar story to get you in the holiday spirit a full seven days after Christmas. I bought my little brother a Switch for Christmas. I live in a different state from my mom and brother, so I had it delivered to their address during Black Friday. I tell her to make it a gift from me and her to him for Christmas. Christmas rolls by and on the morning of, she calls me asking how much money I had in my bank and if I was willing to send her $60 so that my brother can go to the aquarium. I remind her that I spent $300 on a brand new Nintendo Switch, and on top of that, she already owed me money that I had lent her. She tells me that the Switch was a gift from Santa Claus out loud so my brother would hear, and that the aquarium would be a separate transaction, and that I should think about my brother more. I told her no and hung up. My brother thinks I didn't send him anything for Christmas, and it's all because my mom has a 10-year-old still believing in Santa Claus. This happened over five days ago, and I'm still fuming and upset. We have not spoken since. This is a great way to end the year and start a new year. I will be calling up my mother and brother on New Year's Eve just for casual greetings and to see if we can resolve this. I'm also visiting at the end of January since I was unable to make it for Christmas. That should be fun. So I don't know what to think about the kid being 10 and still believing in Santa Claus. I think I found out Santa wasn't real when I was like 8. I was like in the car with my mom and my sister. And something was said and I was like, is Santa actually real? And my mom was like, no, he's not. And I was crushed. How old were you guys when you found out about Santa not being real, sadly? I, I hope there's no like 8-year-olds out there right now that are just finding out this information. But anyways, on to the point of berating this mother. This is absolutely ridiculous. She directly went against her daughter's request to make it a gift from not only the daughter, but from the mother as well, and say it's from Santa just so she can get 60 extra dollars out of her daughter. Like, that is such a scummy tactic, and I don't even know what I would do in this situation, because you want to continue to be able to support your brother and get your brother gifts and stuff, but it feels like you're kind of enabling the mother by doing this. This is just the crappiest situation. 
This actually wasn't the video I intended to put out today. I was going to make a video on the saddest Kickstarter campaign I've ever seen. This man emptied out his retirement fund, got funds from his family and friends to create a place where you can make 3D websites. This is my 3D website, what you see here before you. But the problem with this is that my computer lagged so hard and the screen recording of me trying to use my own website was so laggy and stuttery and terrible that I actually could not make that video today so hopefully if my computer doesn't get bricked by trying to use this website I can have that video out later this week because there's really a lot to this and it's a really interesting and very very sad case so look out for that this week I'm gonna be streaming on Twitch tonight at 8 30 Eastern Standard Time instead of 8 p.m. I just want to do a couple things before uh, in between the release of this video and that stream so uh, come hang out if you're interested in that twitch.tv slash your is the place that you can find me uh, that'll be in the description and the comments down below have an absolutely fantastic day. Skate on to the best of your abilities. Make sure you're drinking more water and I will see you very soon.